Uh, all right, uh, my understanding is we're going to do four questions, uh, and we'll just alternate. Uh, I'll start off with uh, Jennifer Lovin and uh, Basie. What I'm looking at is not the day-to-day -day gyrations of the stock market, but the long-term uh, ability for the United States and the entire world economy uh, to regain its footing. Uh, and, you know, the stock market is sort of like a tracking pole in politics. You know, it bobs up and down day to day. Uh, and if you spend all your time worrying about that, then you're probably going to get the long-term strategy wrong. Said that the banking system. My main message to the American people is to just recognize that um, we dug a very deep hole for ourselves. There were a lot of bad decisions that were made. We are cleaning up that mess. Uh, it's going to be sort of uh, full of fits and starts in terms of getting the mess cleaned up, but it's going to get cleaned up, uh, and we are going to recover, and we are going to emerge more prosperous, more un unified, and I think more protected from systemic risk, having learned these lessons, than we were before. I think President Obama's absolutely right, and I think the history books will record that what he has done in his first, uh, uh, well, nearly 50 days of uh, office has been momentous in setting the means by which we can see the economic recovery happening. And what I said in the letter is the same thing that I've said publicly, which is that the missile defense uh, that we have talked about deploying is directed towards not Russia, but Iran. Uh, that has always been the concern, that you had potentially a missile from Iran uh, that threatened either the United States or Europe. And uh, what I said in the letter was that, obviously, to the extent that we are lessening Iran's commitment to nuclear weapons, uh, then that reduces uh, the pressure for or the need for uh, a missile defense system. Uh, not a Russian threat, but a Iranian threat. Well, we, well, we've had a good exchange between ourselves and the Russians. I've said that we need to reset or reboot the relationship there. Uh, Russia needs to, to understand our uh, unflagging commitment to the independence uh, and security of uh, countries like a Poland or a Czech Republic. Uh, on the other hand, we have areas of common concern. Uh, I expressed to the Prime Minister uh, America's extraordinary gratitude for their support. The special relationship between the United States and Great Britain uh, is uh, one that is not just important to me, it's important to the American people. Uh, and it uh, is sustained by a common language, a common culture. Uh, our legal system is directly uh, inherited from uh, the English system.